ever had <clears throat> that when you're some, out sometimes, you know, and you're having a picnic or, you know, you're just lounging on your chair outside in the summertime and the flies come? Those flies, they land on you and they tickle you and they're just so annoying. Well, you know, there are flies and then there are flies. Those other flies usually are found a maybe a little bit more north. But some of us call them black flies, some of us call them horse flies. And those little guys, they just don't tickle you. They actually take a little chunk out of you and it really hurts. Well, a long time ago, there was this river at very the beginning of time. There was this river that had the most purest, sweetest water you would ever want to taste. And it was full of fish and animals came to drink from there. And then the moose heard about this. Now, he thought, I would like to try this water. Now, this wasn't no ordinary moose, because moose are really big. This was a giant moose, and his hooves were really big. They're big to begin with, but they were really big. So he came to the river. Now, he just didn't go, shh, shh. No, he was just shh, inhaling that water, like, just like, shh. And then he would leave. And then he would come back again. And he came back again and again many times. And now the animals were getting really, really concerned because they thought they noticed the water level was going down. They thought, what are we going to do? How are we going to take care of this? He's going to drink all our water. You know, the, the beaver, they were worried because it would destroy their homes and the otters. They like to have those river banks. But the fish said, you guys are okay. You can live on the land. What about us? We need the water. So they were all talking and, and having a discussion. And Bear, well, Bear didn't want anything to do with it. He was afraid of, of this moose. And then the fly spoke up. This black fly spoke up. He said, well, um, you know, I, I could help you. <laughs> they looked at him and they laughed. What? <laughs> look at you. Look at you. You're too small. What can you possibly do? So they just continued to ignore him. And he thought, okay. Well, sure enough, the moose came back for another drink. And he was having a really big drink of water. Well, now that fly went into action. He bit him on his front leg. And when he did, that moose just jumped up in the air. He was so startled. And he came down with a big thud. And when he did, it made a huge hole indent in the earth. And then the water would seep in to fill that up. But now that little fly was biting him all over, everywhere, on his delicate nose, everywhere. He was just taking little chunks out of that moose. And the moose was going crazy, jumping up and down and up and down and making all these big holes. And finally, he left. He left. Now, that little fly, he thought, he started to brag. He said, uh, I think I did a really good job. I think I did a really good job. You know, goes to show you that even the smallest can defend themselves against the strong so long as they use their brain.